the food service is very slow. Everything is slow in Zanzibar. Everything is slow. So I don't get. Welcome to my channel. My name is Olamide and I am in Zanzibar. <laughs> I'm in Zanzibar and I'm so excited. Um, so before coming to Zanzibar, I was in Kenya. I spent a couple of weeks in Kenya and then I flew into Tanzania through um, Dar es Salaam. And then now I'm in, Kiga I'm in Kenya. Sorry, I'm in Zanzibar. <laughs> I have so many countries running in my head. But yeah, I'm in Zanzibar and look at this view. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a beachfront pool, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to share some tips and tricks um, about booking your hotel or your accommodation in Zanzibar. Now, something you have to know about Zanzibar is you have the north and the south, you know, for tourist purposes. The north is where you have one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, really. Um, and, but right now I'm in the south. I finished my tour of the north, I'm in the south right now. But I will share my experiences in the south with you in, in subsequent videos. So I shared about um, Kendwa, which is in the, sh in the south. In my previous video, I shared about Kendwa, um, the hotels I visited there and how that went. But today I want to share tips and tricks about Nungwe, which is, you know, one of the busiest areas, one of the busiest places in Zanzibar, in Zanzibar really. One of the most tourist, uh, most tourist areas in Zanzibar. So now, something you have to keep in mind when you're booking in Nungwe is that you have the very, very busy, um, busy strip of beach where you have all these resorts and hotels um and you know that's the party the party scene of zanzibar that's also in nungui the second part of nungui is where things are a little more quiet more chill more relaxed and that you know you, that's where you can have the beach to yourself you know and it's still the same pretty beach um so you need to know which is which and where to book for your holidays, depending on what you are in Zanzibar for. So if you are in Zanzibar to party and have fun and have a good time, you should definitely book the busy area. If you are in Zanzibar for maybe a honeymoon or a vacation or something, you should definitely book the quieter area. Another tip I'm going to give you is concerning transportation in Zanzibar. Now, transportation can be very expensive. They'll charge you in dollars. So, um, I use a lot of um, the motorcycles, which they call border borders here. Um, that, you know, that's cheap. That's usually less than one dollar. It's getting around Nungwe. And because I did a lot of moving around, you know, I found that to be very, very um, cheap and cost effective. Uh, so that's the second hack I'm going to give you about transportation. The third is about food. So Zanzibar is expensive because everything has been set up for tourists and tourism. So if you are a remote worker or a digital nomad, it's probably not the best place for you. Um, but notwithstanding, there are ways you can hack it. Uh, for example, not booking, not getting food at your resort can be very helpful. In Nungui, for example, of that busy stretch of beach, there were a lot of restaurants and, you know, you could actually get food cheap, you know. Sometimes you had to leave the beach area and go inside and you could get some cheap food. Um, so, yeah, so those are some of the tips and tricks I'm giving you about Nungui, Zanzibar. Now, I also want to share with you on some of the hotels I visited in uh, Nungui 
Zanzibar and I'll be showing the videos here. The first hotel I visited is a hotel called Aluna Nongwe. My first um my first encounter with this hotel was when I booked for a customer over two years ago and you know before she got to the hotel she had gone to visit um, a friend at a very close resort which was a bit, a bit more luxurious beachfront and all that and so when she got to Aluna Nongwe she told me she, don't, she didn't want it um, and so from that from then I just thought it was a bad place and I never bothered to book it again but on this trip I decided to go and check it out for myself um, and you know I was fascinated by what I saw I absolutely loved it and I began to realize that Maybe the reason why she didn't like it was because the property itself is not directly on the beach. You have to come out of the gates and walk for like one and a half, two minutes, just right in front of you. But, you know, most a lot of hotels in Nungui have their properties sitting right on the beach. Like this one I'm on right now is actually right on the beach. Let me show you that. Let me just turn around and show you. Can you see? That's the beach. This is in the south, though. You know but that wasn't on the beach uh you had to walk out of the gate and walk for a couple like one or two minutes just walk out and then the, the so they actually have their own beach bar and restaurant right but the point is it was not on the beach directly um so i guess maybe that was why she didn't like it and i guess for me that was a teaching point that sometimes you have to let customers know what exactly what they're getting right especially when you have when they give you a budget because a lot of it is also dependent on your budget when you've given me a budget i have to let you know that bro this is what it is you know this is exactly but i felt like for me i felt like that was actually a very very beautiful property um you had really lush gardens you had two pools one was salted one was a salted pool or oh, just the regular pools nestled within those gardens the rooms were really prettily decorated um, it had a very zen feel to it but again if you are going to zanzibar for a party that's not where to be it's more of um, a very cool and chill um vibe if you know what i mean so you know that was what i thought about alina nongwe <laughs>
the second property I visited in Zanzibar, uh, Nungwi Zanzibar, was Eskuzalu Zanzibar. What I loved most about this resort was the walk-in closets. It was so huge. It's the biggest I've seen in a long time anywhere in any hotel. Really nice walk-in closet, nice room, nice resort. Um, they had this really nice Instagrammable um, place where you could get your pictures taken against the backdrop of the ocean. It was really nice. The hotel, the pool area was really popping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's a mid range to it's a it's a upper mid range hotel, I think. So um, I think you should definitely um, you'll be very safe to book it. You know, excuse me, Zanzibar. That is hotel number two in Zanzibar, Nungui. The third hotel I visited in Nungui was also on the quieter strip um, of quieter axis in Nungui and that was called Tanzanite Beach Resort. Now this hotel it caught me by marvelous surprise. Funny enough you know um, I've always wanted to book it because of the budget because it's it's about sixty to seventy dollars sixty to one twenty depending on the room you choose so which is a good budget for people who don't want to spend so much um, or who don't have so much to spend so but I've always wanted to be, book it because the location the Nungwe the price the pictures but they have really terrible reviews on booking.com so I felt like you know I don't want any trouble I don't want any wahala <laughs> so I didn't book um, but I was pleasantly surprised by the hotel, by the resort. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beachfront. Oh my goodness, loved it. Cannot recommend enough. Um, their sea view rooms are like perfect as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> beautiful views of the sea. Um, again, we travel, you get what you pay for. So, you know, they also have the. Um, they have garden rooms, they have beachfront rooms. And you know, what were these reviews that people really gave? Some people say, ah, it's far from everywhere. I just told you, you have to do your research. It's in the quieter axis. And it's not as if it is the only one there, you know. That's where Nongwe Dreams and Mantis is. That's where SQ Zalu is, you know. There are quite a number of hotels on that street. It's just two axes in Nongwe busy and non-busy so if you didn't do your research and then you stay where it is quiet and you want a party that's not our problem of which it's not as if they are so far from each other the two axes we're talking maybe if you take a bike maybe seven minutes by motorcycle if you're walking maybe 10 to 15 minutes so it's more like it's a very giant island that you can get lost you know another review some people said oh the food service is very slow. Everything is slow in Zanzibar. Everything is slow. So I don't get. <laughs> I feel this way because I, I felt like I was misled. I was misled. If you give a if you give a hotel review 7.1, I expect that when I get to that resort, everything is just falling down. Everything is dead. Everything is broken. But for me to get there and everything is just like on point. 
I'm like, please don't deceive me with your nonsense reviews again. <laughs> So yes, I'm definitely booking this hotel from now on because I absolutely love it. But I just have to say, the rooms you choose like, are important. As I've said in other videos, you get what you pay for. Okay, so that is about excuse that. That's about Tanzanite Beach Resort in Nungui. The next property I visited was Nongui Dreams by Mantis. Unfortunately, I cannot give you all the tea on this property because my phone died. My phone died. Yes, you heard me. Because I'd been up and down the whole place and it just died. But let me tell you something about this property. It is cute. It is pretty. It is giving icky. It is giving santorini it is giving it is giving everything that it's supposed to be giving <laughs> very pretty hotel i had i've booked this hotel a lot of times but i just wanted to see what it looked like for myself and i loved it i loved it um you know they have this white walls um with climbing flowers and plants all over so you have this mix of pinks and greens against the um, white backdrop and then the pool area they have two pools just really silly just a real nice place <laughs> you know um and then right after my phone died they took me to this presidential suites which was really lovely um you had like, three rooms was well, a three bedroom every room in that place had amazing views you know really nice place i love it i recommend it I re and it's not the price is quite okay i think it's about um 150 one like between 100 to 200 dollars per night i think depending on which room you decide to book again it's all about the rooms really nice place 100 percent recommend long way dreams by mantis and then they were so nice to me <laughs>
right so the next property i book i i visited in nongwe was z hotel z hotel is um on the strip where things are really bubbling and things are happening and you know um it's a boutique hotel very chic very private quite well when i say private so, you know it's not that private because they share the this, they share the same beach with everybody else so the beach area is busy but the resort itself is quite chill it's very nice um also mid-range to upper um range budget i liked it it was really nice i think also about uh 100 to 200 dollars per night uh nice place i liked it i liked it the, the they had the beach for the the, the sea view rooms actually have amazing views of the ocean pretty 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 place now on that same strip right there were so many other resorts that i didn't even really check but you know you can be sure that you know it's a busy area it's it's a fun area it's a bubbly area so you had double tree by nungui on that strip you had zenobia beach resort on that strip you had aman beach bungalows on that strip you had uh, royal royal resort and spa royal something resort and spa you had my blue you had um ah uh, i forget <laughs> Okay. I just want to mention their name so you just know when you are booking that this is this is where this is and you know you know where to book. Uh yeah, but you know, that was basically now, there were some properties that were you know on that axis as well. They were not exactly on the beach, but they were very close to the beach, maybe like two to three minutes away, and then very, very nice budget, talking maybe like sixty sometimes forty dollars depending on the season forty to maybe hundred dollars per night you know so you had babalao bungalows you had um padolina bungalows you had uh Nongui garden boutique hotel you had uh well flame tree is actually beachfront is on the proper is a, is a beachfront property as well uh you had quite a number i showed some of their their videos and pictures here so you can just look if you need to know what to where to go to if you don't want to spend so much in nungui so yes that is all i'm doing for this video i have a lot to do today i'm going to show you this property i'm staying in right now it's in the south but um yeah it's perfect if you have a honeymoon or a vacation coming up and you want somewhere really private budget it has a private pool um and it's not so expensive i i, I got this for one one seventy dollars per night so i feel like for the value you are getting it's actually good the beach is busy <laughs> the room the villa nice so you can actually have a family of four in this villa really really great place i love it so much um so yeah we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe um what else do you do <laughs> you like you subscribe you share um but most most importantly i hope you find it very helpful thanks for watching Bye.